Because you know what? They might arrest someone who might have a crisis, and if they understand the disease, that person could be treated differently. Is that true? Yeah. Okay, all right. So let me welcome here Staff Inspector Dave McCormick, who is going to bring greetings. Staff Inspector Dave McCormick. Oh, here he is. A pleasure for me to be here this morning uh, to assist with and support the third annual uh, walkathon uh, for sickle cell research and in support of Camp Jamoki. Uh, I've been very much aware of uh, the camp and the work and uh, the goings on in the participation of the police service over the years. Uh, I've been kept apprised by, I believe, the next speaker, uh, former Staff Inspector Dave McLeod, who uh, has involved me in it for many, many years. So it's a privilege to be here. I was very fortunate to land in 13 Division. Uh, Ojo has assured me that it never rains on a Camp Tomoke event, and I know Ojo is very highly connected. So I'm sure we're in for a great day. I want to thank everybody for coming. Uh, enjoy the walk. Uh, these types of events are so crucial that funds are raised, that awareness uh, to this disease is uh, brought forth so that uh, people can jump on and support. And uh, I see good things happening in the future. So thank you very much. Thank you so much. You see, Staff Inspector Dave McCormick, he has set the tone. He wasn't long. He spoke to the point. So everybody else who comes after have to do the same thing. So put your hands together and let me welcome Staff Inspector David McLeod. Oh, all right. We're in civilian outfit today. <laughs> You're undercover today. Yes, thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Good morning. And uh, two minutes, I'll be about uh, 45 seconds. So I'll, uh, I'll give my the rest of my time to the next speaker. Uh, it never ceases to, uh, to impress me, uh, the organization that goes with, uh, with these events, the, uh, the objectives and uh, the commitment of the organizers. But one of the things that, uh, that, that impresses me more than anything else is the, the courage and the challenge that the, the children are involved that they face. And we as the adults and the volunteers to learn, to have to learn a lot from them. Just by the playing and in the evening they might be at sick kids again. They're just not telling with sickle cell disease. This is why we thank you for appreciating our young people, for coming out and supporting this work. It's so important. I'm going to ask you, people that have sickle cell, they need special blood, they need your blood. Please, Donate blood. Encourage people to donate blood. Especially if you're from the black community. There is lack of blood supply. And the most get phenotypical blood, which means it has to be perfectly matched from their community. And our college is since 2000. She's in the area of interest is non-malignant hematology, particularly sickle cell disease and thalassemia, and she's currently the co-director of sickle cell thalassemia program at the hospital. She's well qualified. Let's give it up and welcome Dr. Melanie Kirby. Good morning, everyone. Thank you all for coming out. So, Landry. Some love. Hey, you know what? I, I've never been seen when the kids are going, but somebody said to me, a lot of times when the kids are leaving to go to the camp, they're just crying, they're so happy. No, this is deep, you know. Without Camp Jamoke, these kids would never, ever have an opportunity to enjoy a camp like any regular child. So we need the support and we need as many people to walk today because we want the community to see presence that we are supporting a worthwhile effort. And they'll say, what's that all about? And they'll hear it's about Camp Jamoke and then we ignite others. So, Dr. Kirby, we love you and we appreciate your work. Thank you so much. God bless you. You see a lot of um, young people in black around. Where are they? Oh, there they are, over there. They're volunteers from the Police Foundation. They're students. And we want to show big, big appreciation for them. They're donating their time free. They're coming here to help. And we can't even express how much we really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Once again, notice a lot of policemen, police women are here. And we, once again, we just want to thank them. Because a normal time in our community is an antagonistic relationship 
But we want to show love. It's time for the antagonism to stop. And we just show love because you they're know, here I, to uh, serve and protect. Uh, and when they say they're here to serve and protect, we should take yeah, that yeah. to mean the they're here to he, serve and protect the entire community. You have a lot of good people in the security forces. Right. Maybe you have people that are not so good, but in all elements of society, so it is. So we love you, policemen. <laughs> Mr. Louis Isaacs, who is the chairperson of the organizing committee committee for this event, he's going to tell you the path that you're going to be walking. Go. Mr. Isaacs. Okay, good. You know what? what? We'll, we'll light the torch okay, as soon as they say we're ready to, to do the walk. I'll, I'll tell you when to light. And you should follow the instructions of the marshals and the ladies with the banner. Thank you very much as we get ready to start. Start lining up. So, Okay. All right, so have a safe walk, and okay. Um, okay. Like thank you course. again for being here. here. Like thank you, Mike Paul. Um, I want to give a shout out to okay, hold, hold, hold. Christine. And walk um, slow, though. Let me just check yeah. her don't, don't walk fast. Hey, yeah, where is she? Uh, let me yeah, check this. Chris? Christine McGurr. Come here, Christine McGurr. Okay, just get in front of that sign, that, but hold it. Okay, start walking now. You're going to be the PC candidate for St. Paul's in the, in the provincial election. St. Paul's, so thank you for coming here. Thank you for support. And you know what, if you win... Okay, I don't mind. This side. You know you're taller than me. I thought you could be here, I thought you were a I'm holding the light up and down here. <laughs> The guy carrying the torch is Shaheem Joya, and he just finished walking from Ottawa to Toronto. Yay! Thank you. Woo! So how was the rain, man? <laughs> the rain? <laughs> the last three days, it was nice. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. No, no, I got a raincoat as a gift from someone, but oh, it had holes in it. Oh, yeah? <laughs> well, that's good. I thought it was good in the morning. I afternoon, I changed my mind. <laughs> Want me to take some, George? No, we're okay. You're okay with those flip-flops? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, George, come take pictures. Yes, we can. 
When I get tired, I'll. I'll... You look good, Shane. Oh, yeah? Thanks. People are going to start asking if you're single, and which, how Anywhere, should I answer if, that? Uh, you know, you can't. I got it all on. I got it all on video. Yeah, they they were getting to, going to a wedding or something tonight. Uh huh. Yeah, so I gotta go there too later. Okay, well they're gonna see this video. That's good. Heavy, isn't it? You've had this before, no? Well, yeah. It's still surprising every time <laughs> people are... Shaheem, this is how I was filming all the students across Canada. Yeah, I filmed the whole thing. Like this. Yeah, police. Yeah, with police and, and doing, you know, every city there's a different student filming. Hey, Frank. You're gonna get blisters. How many should I get? You want one? You want water? You want water? Water. Water. Yeah. Can I get a water? Sometimes. 